This video is covering female gamete formation only and it's part of the chapter on sexual reproduction in flowering plants. The best place to start this topic is to go over the structure of the flower. Know the female reproductive organ is the carpal. It's made up of the stigma, the style and the ovary. And within the ovary is the ovule. Now it's within the ovule that this structure known as the embryo sac will form and it produces the egg cell and these other two polar nuclei. And this is what you have to be able to discuss. So in this diagram of the carpal, you can see the ovary and within the ovary there is the ovule. And at the centre of the ovule is this megaspore mother cell and it's diploid, meaning that it has two sets of chromosomes in the nucleus of its cell. It's very important that you know the structure of the ovule really well. Why? Well, later on in seed development, you will have to give an account as to what happens to each of these structures and what they become. Most of the ovule is made up of this mass of diploid cells called the nucellus. And these cells are there for nourishment. They're there to provide nourishment to the developing embryo sac. The walls of the ovule are called the integuments and it's really important to remember their name. The process begins in the ovule with this diploid megaspore mother cell. It's diploid meaning that it has two sets of chromosomes in its nucleus. This diploid megaspore mother cell will undergo meiosis to produce four haploid cells. So the megaspore mother cell underwent meiosis to produce four haploid cells. Three of these will now die off or degenerate, leaving one remaining. This one remaining haploid cell is now known as the embryo sac and its nucleus will undergo th mitosis three times. So three rounds of mitosis to produce this huge cell, this embryo sac with eight haploid nuclei. So after all of this mitosis, we end up with this embryo sac, this large cell with eight haploid nuclei. Six of these nuclei will be surrounded by their own membrane and two will not. Of those six with their own membrane, one of them will become the egg cell and the other five will die off or degenerate. The other two nuclei that did not develop their own membrane, they are the polar nuclei. Female gamete formation is now complete. Within the ovule, the embryo sac produced the female gametes, the egg cell, which is haploid, and those two polar nuclei, which are both haploid. So that's female gamete formation complete. Just make sure you can discuss what's happening in this diagram and link it to a detailed labelled diagram of the ovule with those two polar nuclei and that egg cell. And make sure you can write in your answer the following statement. The embryo sac produces the egg cell and the two polar nuclei.